creativity. It means different things to all of us and it can help us understand our feelings, gain perspective and manage stress or simply give us five minutes to reconnect with ourselves. The possibility of making a little ripple of change through creativity is inside every single one of us. But what if you could be the champion and inspire those around you to unlock their power of creativity? I know, so exciting. My name is Koyla Wow. I'm a black cisgendered woman in a studio and I'm here with our very own team member, Jemima Frankel from 64 Million Artists to chat about how you can do just that. I'm so excited. Hey, Jemima. Hi, Koy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Jemima Frankel. I'm head of public programs at 64. Um, I'm a white woman with dark hair and I'm sat in this beautiful studio with you. I am so excited to ask you some questions because I am excited to understand a little bit more about the Creative Champions and I know a lot of other people are as well. So, Jemima, before we can go any further, we have to understand what the January Challenge actually is. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Of course I can. So at its heart, it's a campaign for creativity and well-being. Uh, the idea is very simple. It's 31 days of free, fun, quick and accessible creative prompts. Uh, each of the prompts are super varied. So um, they can get you dancing or cooking or writing or making or exploring in some way. It's 31 opportunities to connect with yourself and the world around you. Um, each of the prompts are designed by different people and communities right across the UK. So mm. it's a kind of a really varied reflection and representation of lots of different people's idea of what creativity is. Um, thousands of people take part each year. So in 2023, over 50,000 people took part. And of course, we're hoping for um, more and more people to come and join the fund this year. Uh, we're coming up to our 11th year anniversary Um it started with the CEO of 64, Joe Hunter, um, back in 2013 or 14, mm. way back then, um, uh, when Joe took some time off work to kind of reconnect with herself and with her own creativity. She invited her loved ones to give her something accessible, easy, creative to do every day. Um, and that month off completely changed her perspective on her own creativity, mm. on her own well-being and how to kind of look after yourself and engage with the world. Um, so she invited it uh, outwards on her own Facebook um, and a couple of hundred of kind of her Facebook friends took part with her the following year. And since then, it's just grown and grown and grown to this thing that 50,000 people right across the UK take part in and across the world. We've got mm. people taking part kind of We've had people taking part in Australia and India and America and mm. Canada and right across Europe. It's kind of this amazing global campaign that I'm really, really excited to be so involved with. And this will be my fifth year working on it. Oh, I love It'll be that. the best one yet. I'm Come sure. on, I love that. <laughs> um, that's so incredible because I kind of started this off by saying what like the little ripple of creativity mm. can do. And mm. I, that's exactly what it is. It's um, Joe has in, has made that accessible to everybody yeah. and I think my favourite thing from everything you said is how accessible it is because I think oftentimes um, really great initiatives forget the variety of people that are out here so I, mm. I love that um, the Journey Challenge has made that such a focus and such a yeah. just a normal part of it as it yeah. should be so yeah. that's incredible Well you've, you've picked up there actually on my favourite uh, thing about creativity and thinking about the kind of impact of creativity is this idea that we really do kind of um, foster or nurture or explore what those kind of ripple moments are. Mm. I always think, um, you know, if you think of taking part in a kind of a small act of creativity or just even engaging in a great conversation with a friend or with a colleague, those all have moments of impact and you don't know what those moment that what those moments will lead to. But if you think if you think of that as kind of just a little ripple and then you don't know what's going to happen next, you don't know what's going to happen next. And there's 31 opportunities with thousands of people mm. to kind of cause those ripples, which is so exciting. Yeah, I know it, I know it has so many positive effects. Um, if I can just think some off the top of my head, it would be like in better well-being, mm -hmm. um, reducing stress, you know, community as well. So, yeah, like the ripple affects yeah. others, but also affects you as well in a yeah. really positive way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, I hope everybody gets involved. But anyway, there's more <laughs> to talk about. And I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be in love with us by the end of this. So let's do this. So another question I have is, what are the benefits of getting creative, especially in January? Because mm -hmm. it's a January challenge, not the March challenge or the August challenge. Like, so why January? Yeah. And, yeah. 
Yeah, great. Um, well, January is a bit of a challenge yeah. for lots of people. <laughs> it's a miserable time of year. Um, it's dark. It's cold outside, especially here in the UK. Um, and I always think of the January Challenge as a really hopeful campaign. Um, there is something so reassuring and hopeful about knowing that tomorrow another prompt will come and the day after that mm. and the day after that. Um, we've actually been working with a research associate called TIO, who stands for There Is An Alternative over the last um, couple of years to help us kind of really understand what the impact is because so many people do kind of tell us and report to us about um, how it impacts their well-being. Um, and some of the kind of well-being outcomes or indicators, I suppose, that have kind of come back from that um, really interesting bit of research is around emotional regulation. So mm. creativity being a tool to kind of um, help you get to that kind of mindful flow-like state. Mm. Um, creativity is a tool for community and connection. So when you take part in the January Challenge, you are inherently part of thousands of people a all already established community that's really welcoming and really friendly so you're already part of that community yeah. when you join in often the creative prompts um invite you to connect with a friend or with an object that's next to you or with nature or with uh, a story or with yourself yeah. so there's opportunities to connect in a way that really supports your kind of sense of self and the sense and the sense of the world around you um, and also the other well-being kind of indicator is around intellectual stimulation. So thinking about things a little bit differently, um, reaching a conclusion that you wouldn't have reached before or thinking up thinking up things that you wouldn't have thought without the invitation of a creative prompt. Yeah. Um, and what a better time of the year to do that um, than at the beginning of a fresh new year mm. um, where creativity can kind of lead you to uh, a different February or a different March yeah. um, and right the way through the year. The other really interesting thing about the January Challenge is that it comes at a time of year when lots of people are trying to change things or stop things that they do. They're trying to stop old habits that they're trying to lose. And the January Challenge is a real invitation to start new positive habits. So it's about starting to choose to explore your creativity, starting to choose to explore drawing or writing or dancing or thinking about things differently um, and I think there's a real kind of positive hopefulness that comes from that like just inherent in the idea of the campaign um, so rather than kind of restricting or stopping yourself you're actually kind of opening things up which I think is a really nice opportunity at that time of year. No, absolutely. Like, I don't think I'm ever truly excited about January. You just come off the high of, like, mm. gifts and Christmas parties and all, mm. whatever parties you're having. And then all of a sudden you're in a new year where you have mm. to suddenly, you have all this pressure on yourself. Mm. But it could actually be a really great time to, like, try new things, yeah. be okay with being bad at things as opposed to aspiring yeah. for immediate perfection. Totally. Which I think is... um. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I really gravitate towards the January yeah. challenge as well. Yeah. So, just amazing. to pick up on a word that you just used there, pressure. Yes. Um, there is a lot of pressure that comes with this kind of, it's the beginning of a new year. Uh, what do you want to achieve that year? Setting yourselves goals. Um, and there is something um, warm, I suppose, in the invitation of the January challenge. There are 31 literal just in invitations or prompts to have a go at you do not need to do all 31 mm. to have taken part in the general challenge you could do one prompt you could do 10 you can do however many you want and of course you don't have to do them in january they're your once once they're out in the world mm. they're there forever they're yours to kind of keep and play with mm. um we often get people in kind of May saying, oh, I've just discovered the January challenge. Um, this is great. Um, so, yeah, it was, you know, we run it in January, but it's yours year round. Yeah, I love that. I absolutely love that. And you you talk about dancing and, and singing and drawing and, and just thinking, spending time with yourself, and reconnecting with yourself. And I'm just like, and you also talk about it being free. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> if there's ever a time you need things to be free, it's January. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. One question that I am pretty sure is in every listener's mind right now is, mm -hmm. how does one get to participate in the January Challenge? Yes. Um, so you can sign up totally for free uh, to our mailing list to receive um, 
each day's creative prompt throughout January. Um, and on all of our social media, um, you'll find an amazing community of people sharing what they're getting up to each day. Um, you can take part totally for free. It will only require things like pen and paper, whatever's in your recycling box, <laughs> your imagination. Um, and as I mentioned before, every prompt is accessible, um, quick, will only take you kind of five to 10 minutes to have a go at. Um, and they're all really fun and really different. Come join the party. I love that. Like, I love how we can use what's in our recycling bin. I can use what's already at home. What if I wanted to get my friends involved? Because mm, yeah. I kind of feel like I want to do that. Yeah, great. <laughs> so that's so people tell us that all the time. Oh, I should tell so-and-so about this. Or my mum would love this. Or my colleagues at work would love this. Um, and we've been listening. So um, we have all the resources that we need to set you up. That would be you being a creativity champion. So somebody who champions or is an ambassador for creativity in your community wherever that might be um so you might find creativity champions um in community settings um in libraries in schools in care homes in prisons in uh, various different workplaces um and we support people to be creativity champions um, with all sorts of things. So we put together a pack called the Champions Pack, uh, which includes all 31 creative prompts well ahead of time. Um, and you can use that pack to kind of set up the January challenge in your space and in your way. Um, so you can put it on your kind of own internet systems or set up your own emails and um, or you can kind of print out prompts as posters or pick and choose your favourites, adapt them, just make them work totally for you. I actually have a pack here that I can just um, show you briefly. So, See, I was very jealous. Um, I was like, what is this shiny book? I need to know more about it. Yes, tell me more. So this is our very lovely Creativity Champions pack for the January yeah. Challenge 2024. And we get this when we sign up? So you can download this for free. Oh, okay. And there'll be an option to download this on the website. So you can either sign up to kind of get the daily surprise, just take part as a participant. But if you want to be a Creativity Champion and champion the January Challenge in your setting this is for you it's totally free and is for you i love that so in it you'll find um kind of all information Let about what the thank you <laughs> about what the january challenge is and where it's all come from it's a lovely picture of the team oh. making it all happen um and you'll find all of the 31 prompts um and information on who's involved um and there's kind of downloadable, printable things at the end here. It looks so fun. It kind of reminds me of like a school workbook, but like <laughs> for your, your favourite class. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the school of life. <laughs> school of life. <laughs> um, I love this at the end. So here's kind of a printable poster where you can fill in what creativity is to you. I love that. Uh, if you want to print that off, fill it in. Take a picture and share with us. We'd yes, love to see. and we'll and we'll definitely make it into something really fun to share on our socials as well. So definitely make sure that you you um take part in that, yeah. download it, and send it in. Send us pictures, hashtag, and all of that. Yeah. And something else that I'd love to show you uh, is that um we as well as this kind of main champions pack, uh, we also create kind of tailored uh, resources for different people because um uh, some workplaces are totally different to a school or a care home and what you might need in a library setting is totally different to what you might need to run the jam challenge with your friends so we've got some tailored resources as well so we've got the pack specifically for care homes so people working in residential care settings uh, we've got a pack specifically for libraries um, so this is for any any staff in libraries um, and um, we have a Welsh language version of the pack um, so if you're a Welsh language speaker this is for you. Um, and we also offer um, free training uh, for creativity champions hoping, hoping to use the pack where they are. Um, and again, I'm sure we'll share all the details in the show notes here. I have never seen a more organised... <laughs> <laughs> I know, yep, I've, I've done the homework. I love that. I, I absolutely <laughs> love that. And like I said, accessibility has been the thing that really stands out about the January Challenge because you want everybody who wants to participate to know that they can. And I believe we all know that we can. So thank you yeah. so much. I already loved your orange shirt, but now <laughs> your impact on the world is what I love the most about you. And I know that you do this as part of a wider team, but thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having you, me. You've made me excited about January. Oh. So that's, that's 
that's a life changing thing right there. See so you on January you. the first, <laughs> yeah. See, yes, let's all see each other on January the first. So, if you're ready to bring creativity to your group, school, community, or workspace, download your free copy of the Creativity Champions Pack by going to 64millionartists.com forward slash the January challenge. We hope you'll join us in unlocking the power of creativity this January. See you there. Thank <laughs> you.